Hey everybody, it is uh, the Patio Gardeners, maybe week 13, maybe? Um, it is a sweltering 94 degrees outside in this uh, Chicago Sunday. Tiffany, what do we have going on this week? Well, we've got flowers on uh, some of our pepper plants now. Yeah, let's see if I can find one. Where is... There we go, yeah. So we've got, how many, how many flowers would you say we have on the pepper plants? A lot. Probably about seven or eight. Yeah, we have several. We think that these are the jalapeno peppers and that these tiny little guys are the habanero peppers and they're just sort of slower or something. We had a really slow start this year. Well, it's it's not been very warm until recently. That's true. Um, in other news, we also have flowers on the tomato plants. And we have tiny, tiny tomatoes. Wow, look at these. So, Tiffany, do you want to say the trick we, we know about self pollinating tomato plants you're just supposed to shake them so the little flowers you shake them a little bit and then they sort of pollinate themselves sometimes the wind will do it and it gets pretty windy up here but i just shake them when i'm outside just just in case yeah and i have to say this is probably the first week that i've really felt like we had a jungle on the patio uh which is sort of a nice thing to have <laughs> <laughs> After planting so many seeds, and you can see here are our carrots. Are we taking off the cages for good now, or what's well, the they're, plan they're, here? The cages are too tall, or the carrots are too tall to be in the cages, so I I think that they're big enough now that the birds won't be as interested in them because they won't be as sweet tasting, so hopefully we can just leave them with the cages off. Mm -hmm. And do you want to say something about the eggplant here? So last week, something was eating the eggplant, and we weren't sure what it was. And then earlier this week, there was a, a big uh, flash thunderstorm in the morning. And when I came outside afterwards to look at the plants, I saw there was a big fat cutworm on the eggplant. So it turns out that was what uh, was eating the eggplant. So I got rid of him. There haven't been any other ones, and nothing else has been eating in the garden. So I guess we've got that taken care of. It's not as bad as last year when we had about 15 cutworms eating the pepper and tomato plants. Yeah, and nothing's eating the other eggplant over here. Uh, and should we just mention one thing about the strawberry? Okay. Well, the, the strawberries uh, tend continue to be very productive. You can see, just look at all these, this ridiculous number of, uh, you can see here strawberries that we've got going on. We've harvested several, uh, surprisingly enough, and here's one that we just picked not long ago. Look at how beautiful that looks. Very nice, and it smells a lot like a strawberry. Tastes like one too. Well, we assume that this one tastes like them. We obviously haven't tasted this one yet. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next week.